Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word. Today, we are in August 27th, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, hard to believe. I am going to dive right in. My title is, Who is the Real Boss of Your Life? Well, my verse is verse 58 in chapter 15. Here's my G for gripping the word. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. All right, that's my G. My R, my reveal is, how many of us have ever struggled with a boss? Raise your hands. Are you ready for this? For the last 25 plus years, I guess you could say work for myself. And there have been countless times that the boss and I have to have some serious face-to-face -face conversations in the mirror. I have learned over time, I can't work to please myself or even my own wife or my own son. And then that one day I woke up and realized I am not the boss, never was, and truthfully never will be or should be my own boss. My implementation is to recognize that God is the boss of my life, period. Everything I say and do should to be to glorify God and not man. Even the menial tasks of going to the post office, yes. Going to the bank, yes. Or even going to the grocery store or stopping by just to get gas, absolutely yes. If I have my radar up, and make myself available, I can't tell you how many times God has brought someone along my path to encourage. I just need to move over into the passenger seat and allow Jesus to take the wheel and drive me down this perfect path of purpose. I don't know about you guys, but I still struggle of taking the wheel, um, taking control, I'm sure none of you deal with that at all, but I'm just being transparent. I still deal with it. And um, I obviously uh, will pray us out here for this grip. Um, I can't do it on my own. Lord, uh, thank you for this realization that all we do should really be to glorify you. You are our boss each and every day. And Lord, um, it's not to please man. So I know I need help, Lord, just to continue um, I'm grateful that we are able to do your work while we're here on earth. And it's in your name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And you guys can relate to that. Um, challenging for sure. And yes, I know, um, working with a nonprofit, I do have a board of directors that are over me. And um, in a way, they could be known as my boss, but really God is over the ministry, over each of us, and he's the one that we need to be working for. All right, let me close this out. Lord, thank you again for these verses. Um, I'm amazed how your word just never returns void. So, Lord, um, we are here such a short time on earth, and let us make the most of being the God, godly men that you've called us to be. Use this, Jesus, to build your kingdom. While we're here on earth, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Bless you guys. I will see you in the morning.